You're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. Yeah, these ones are, I mean, already almost there. They're pretty tight, but they can be tighter. Our buddy DJ's on board to help us tension the rig, finish our dead eyes, and seize the lanyards. And being a traditional rig with dead eyes and lanyards, it's, it's never gonna be bar tight. Yeah. And that's, that's well, su it's supposed really, to be that way too. Yeah, you don't really need a ton yeah. of tension. It keeps the, the mass uh, holds itself up practically. Mm -hmm. And it keeps the tensions on the hull looser. Everything's kind of like a, it's got spring. It's got a little uh, cushion. Mm -hmm. Sweet, all right, let's do it. Tension your up. So how do you get it off of the one that you pulled on to tension it? You seize so, it? Yeah. So you come here and then you throw a few racking seizings on here. <clears throat> and then you can take the tension off with the lock and tackle. And then you make the in the lanyard fast around the shroud. And there's a certain knot that you use for that. To really finish it off where that comes around and, and then it comes down, you should throw a few more seizings. But since this is the first tension and we'll have to retension them again after we sail for a little bit, I'm probably just gonna leave that second set of seizings off and just seize it here, make it faster on the shroud, and call that good for the time being. That tension is really nice. They're pretty dang close. I'd say this one's just slightly tighter, maybe. Yeah. That's how I feel too. All right, ready? Yep. Two, two. <laughs> Tension. <laughs> Feels pretty dang close. This yeah. one might be the tighter one now. I think we're good to go. And like you said, you're gonna retension them. This is yeah. the final tensioning. This is so nothing explodes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're gonna take one peek up from the parking lot just to make sure we didn't break the mast two over on one side or the other. Garrett has a good eye for this kind of thing. Good enough for me. It's hard for me to tell because the bowsprit and mizzen play with my eye. But working with the Rigger's Apprentice book by Brian Toss, we freshen up on our seizings. It's really simple. It's basically like you come through it, through the inside, around the outside, and back through from like underneath, behind.
you start at the top and work your way down doing that figure eight kind of loop through and then you kind of what's the second so this is a back up? this is a racking season the difference is is that you start with the figure eight pattern and then what's the second kind and of it's path? just straight around straight around just like a normal seizing I'm like down to the very very bitter end of my line trying to tie the knot in the frap yeah <laughs> I've got I don't even really barely have enough to like cinch it onto the screwdriver to pull it I was like oh man I got tons of extra <laughs> I got towards the end I was like I don't know oh shit I guess we're done now. Yeah. What are you? What are you willing? Oh, we're putting <laughs> to that risk. on camera, huh? Yeah, right. We have to capture. <laughs> Nothing what's, gross. What's we've the deal, a, Gary? We've got a bit of a. Ch a um, what's the word? Got a bit of a competition going here. So DJ seized the starboard side. I seized the port side. We're going to take the tension off the lanyards now, and so. If Either one of and our I'm gonna have to do something horrible. Either one of our ceasing slip, um, they're gonna have to do something. We haven't figured out what that is yet. Maybe just make dinner. Nah, that's too easy. <laughs> I was gonna do <laughs> that too anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be hilarious and unpleasant for the person doing it. I have to wear an eye patch for a week. <laughs> I've got a good one. Okay. So for the rest of the night, the loser has to has to wear a pair of Bruce underwear, nothing else. Ooh, <laughs> I'd do that anyway. So <laughs> wear the bikini top. Okay, so <laughs> so whoever's PG if if one of our seizings slip or both or both or both whoever if if anyone's seizing slip, they have to wear one of Bruce's bikinis for the rest of the night. Wait, 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 wait. So just just for one night? How about you have to wear it into public? At least one trip. You might to the get store. arrested. Nah. <laughs> All right, here we go. You have to wear the bikini while you redo it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. All right, here's DJ's. Perfect. Not a moment. Can we wrench on it a little just to see? I was a little worried there. <laughs> no. Nope. Hold fast. Cool. No, I might wear the bikini anyways. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> okay. So this comes back around and goes back. Through there. I don't think there's any way you're gonna get it through that loop. Stupid. While it's. Ooh. Yes, there is. My fid. My splicing fid. Do you know where that is? Yes. It's down there. Thank you. Huzzah! second one's definitely better than the first. Yeah. Um, you can just look at it and tell there's way more tension in it. Yeah. Yeah, on this one, did you, on your second wrap, did you not pull as hard? Because it looks um, so nice on the outside, you know what I mean? I still pulled pretty damn hard. I think she's recording. So we're back working on the deck box today and got DJ helping me again. So we just drilled and put two just temporary um, little carriage bolts down through the, uh, the framing below the deck. So uh, now we're trying to figure out, we've got the two big two inch outlets down here. One of them's already drilled and dry fit. So we need to just figure out the location of the second one. That's gonna go in there. We're gonna dry fit all the hoses there and there 
once the hoses are in place, then we can drill and we can mount the two spigots, which are half inch, and hopefully we'll go kind of on either side. Ow, brain hurt. Okay, I am hungover. I didn't realize that until a little <laughs> bit of like loss of blood flow to the brain. And I'm like, oh no, yeah, there is a headache there. <laughs> Aha, more holes. Big hammer over there. Got stuck. <laughs> stuck, DJ. Is this why none of your knives have <laughs> points? Nope. <laughs> Has nothing to do with that. W would you like me to go down below deck? Uh, Garrett? What? I think you missed. Did I? It's in the wrong spot. Crap. Aha! That was easy. so far we ended up totally switching around where I was originally gonna put the um, the second um, deck fitting I was gonna put it back here but with the way this all went and I don't have a 45 for down there which would have been more convenient but it actually worked out totally fine this hose is really really nice and flexible so we've got plenty of room for everything else now we just have to plan with all the little pieces that we have work out the lengths of everything and then locate for the two uh, half inch through deck fittings. So that's the next step. Goodish. Wow, you actually managed to not hit the hose there. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Now, let's see if DJ screwed up or not. <laughs> Success! I think it's sweet. Works for me. Does it get the DJ approval? <laughs> Didn't you draw the line, drill a hole, and do like everything, and buy the fitting? Well, clearly, if it's crooked, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, so we got most of the dry fitting done, despite DJ cutting hoses too short. No. <laughs> Perfect size, gorgeous. <laughs> Everything is looking great. We got both of the big crash pumps hooked up. We got the spigots in. These are fastened in now. So it's all good to go. But everything's still just dry fit. We have to take everything out and, and bed it and put it back together. Um, so the final thing is down here, we're going to drill a hole through the deck to run the shift and throttle cables and some electrical and then at that point drill pilot holes for screws just so everything's lined up and we can take the box off we can put down the uh, bedding compound permanently fasten it bolt it
So DJ and I had a really good day. Um, you know, we've been working hard, planning everything out, making sure we do everything step by step so we don't, you know, we don't drill some stupid hole and realize it's in the way. And I think it's coming out really good. Uh, you can see how we've aligned everything in here. And, uh, and we've got the... Uh, These boys did this just to mess with me. You know, this hose is... Perfectly aligned down here. We've got this guy running down to here. We actually put the hose clamps on this time. Yep, yep. So, um, you know, and that that fits beautifully. We've got the two. <laughs> we've got the two. Um, you know, pressure, fresh and salt, oh come up to their fittings here and here. Um, we've got the. Uh, <laughs> we've got the hole for. Um, the shift of the throttle cable coming through the deck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the boys got me good. This is what they filmed when they were working oh so hard. Hi. All right. Time for soup. So what are you gonna work on today? I'm gonna work on the four trouts. Do you need help tightening them? I've got some, uh, you know, quite a bit that I have to do before I'm at that point, so. Okay. You can go ahead and get started on souping and then I'm gonna start getting that organized and then I'll just steal you when I'm ready. Cool, sounds good. What are you gonna do, Schwab? What's your task for the day? Nothing. Hey. Garrett, I want you to show us the real salt and tar behind the behind the scenes. Basically clamp the seas? Or Pretty is much. that the seizing basically? I mean that, What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is that like uh is that good for the cords to like up preserve them if you tie them in knots? Yes. That's what I figured. Yep. And you should do 
most inconvenient knot that you can think of. Yeah, the harder really, it is to get undone, the better really it is. Kinks the cord too. That's just science, DJ. What do you think? If only you had thumbs, then you could do all the rigging. Smile. Everybody remember, if the lines don't look good, DJ taped it. So, <laughs> if you have any hateful comments about the lines, make sure you address them at DJ. Garrett bought cheap tape. Wow, oh my goodness, you look so cute right now. Don't look at me. He totally just turned around and got right out of my shot. <laughs> <laughs>